Welcome to the video training of the ICAT Climate Action Aggregation Tool for Non-State and Subnational Action. In this video training, I will give you an introduction and background, and then I will move on to the tool to give you a thorough walkthrough. Please use the timestamps to find the desired section of this video training. The Climate Action Aggregation Tool for Non-State and Subnational Action was funded by the Initiative for Climate Action Transparency, or ICAT. It is part of the ICAT Assessment Guide series and Toolbox series. The tool is a supplement to the ICAT Non-State and Subnational Action Guide, which is developed for an aggregation assessment of sub- and non-state climate actions, and specifically for actions that aim for GHG emission reductions. The tool was developed for the application of the guide and the tool was developed by the New Climate Institute and the overall project lead was the World Resources Institute or WRI. The Climate Action Aggregation Tool is an Excel-based tool. It is open source and users should enable macros to use the tool. It is developed to obtain a better understanding of climate actions and potential impacts in a region or country. The tool also has several accompanying documents, the user guides, which users should read before uh, using the tool. It's kind of an introduction to the using the tool. In the methodology note, all the methods throughout the tool are explained. The data template can be used to develop a harmonized data set. And of course, the tool is based on the ICAT non-status of national action guide. All these documents can be found under the hyperlink shown on the screen. Before I move on to the functions and the tool itself, it's good to understand the terminology and descriptions used throughout this training. As non-state actors are all actors that are not government, including at the national, state and city levels. These can be, for example, companies, investors, financial institutions, universities and faith-based communities. Subnational actors include any form of government that is not at the national level, such as cities, states, provinces, and regions. Non-state and subnational climate action can be focused on either mitigation and adaptation. And in this video, we focus on non-state and subnational actors that undertake any policy or initiative to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So we focus on mitigation climate actions. It is also referred to sub and non-state action. The tool, the climate action aggregation tool, is developed for a broad audience and a very variety of use cases. First of all, we identified actors that could use the tool. They can range from governments, subnational governments, to NGOs, civil society members. And they can take on different roles, for example, analysts, policymakers, and consultants. And for use cases, they can use the tool to analyze the full extent of sub and non-state action in a country or region. They can use the tool to identify key actor groups and sectors of sub and non-state actions. Or the tool can be used to determine the combined emission reduction potential of sub and non-state action in a country or region. And the tool can be used to integrate sub and non-state action into policymaking and climate targets. The Climate Action Aggregation Tool holds several primary functions. First of all, it can be used to bookkeep sub- and non-state actions in a country or region. Users can then keep a list of what's happening in the country in terms of sub- and non-state action. The second primary function is a landscape analysis. The landscape analysis can be used to identify how many actors, in which sectors, etc. they are operating. Users need a harmonized data set for this. The third primary function is the aggregation of potential impacts of multiple sub and non-state actions. For this, the Climate Action Aggregation Tool develops a reference scenario and a scenario under target realization for each action. And it performs an overlap analysis, in a very brief nutshell, that is. The users need a harmonized data set or a list of actions and at least one greenhouse gas emission scenario. In this video training, I will focus on the correct use of the Climate Action Aggregation Tool. And it's most relevant when the user guide has already been read, the user is ready to start the assessment, and they already have a harmonized data set with sub and non-state climate actions. In the tool, there is always this navigation bar on top of each sheet. 
in the introduction sheets, the red sheets, the tool's key principles are introduced and general notes on usage are given. In the blue sheets, the finding the assessment, users determine the assessment boundary. They insert their sub and non-state actions and provide the national or regional greenhouse gas emission scenario. So these are heavy user input dependent. The green sheets impact assessment performs the uh, calculation. The targeted emissions levels of actors are calculated and aggregated. Impact is determined and uh, there is an overlap analysis done and users can adjust this overlap. In the fourth part, the reporting results, the greenhouse gas emission reduction potential is presented. The landscape results are shown and users can summarize the findings in the reporting sheet. And in the final part of the tool, users can perform free calculations in the worksheets and some recommended sources are provided under sources. The admin sheets, there are simply this and other conversion units that are used throughout the tool. I will now move on to the tool to give you a walkthrough. The tool opens on this cover sheet where there's a short description of the tool. The links are provided to each other document and contact details are provided. In the overview, each sheet is summarized and there are some general notes on the buttons provided here that are used throughout the tool. In the introduction, the key purposes of the tool and principles are explained. And there is some limitations listed down there. And on the cover sheet, one is able to reset the entire tool that will delete every entry that is inserted by the user and so that users can start freshly. <laughs> 